Welcome to Star Wars Action News, helping Star Wars collectors collect better. Figure 19, Kanan Jarrus from Rebels. Our first time getting animated series figures in the Black Series 6 inch line. Yeah, and to a pretty neat effect. Like, this really makes that character who we've only ever seen animated look like a cool, real character. You know, what we wanted them to do with Clone Wars in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a few things I dig about this figure, but the thing that was surprising to me is that they actually made his lightsaber, which I'm not sure why he does it on the show, but they made it accurate to the three pieces that it takes to put it together. That was the very first thing I did when I got this figure was to see if I could break that apart. The reason is because he's a Jedi in hiding between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. And so he takes it apart so that people don't realize what it is. Right. But by taking off that top part, does it look any less like a lightsaber? I mean, it still looks like a lightsaber to me. Yeah, it's a lightsaber. (laughs) Maybe it's a hydro spanner. (laughs) <laughs> it's just a screwdriver. <laughs> but I do like that those little pieces then have a place to go on his belt. You can pop the little top part on the front side of his belt. There's a little T shape. I don't know if you see that. Yep. And that goes right in there. That's pretty awesome. I didn't notice the belt. I noticed all the parts. I didn't notice the little... I noticed the saber itself. The hilt could go in the back. I didn't notice the little T part. Yeah, so now all you have to do is worry about not losing the removable blade. No, I think that's a very cool detail, and I want to, again, give them some credit on the sculpt. This thing is incredibly detailed, from the ribbing, for lack of a better term, on his boots, to the texture of his pants and his shirt, to the smoothness of his armor parts. Yeah, definitely. And just the different levels of paint as well, you know, they've gone and given him different levels of metallic paint for the armor, and you know, different flat paints. Then we have all the different flat paints for his pants and boots and shirt. And I love the paint they gave on that armor, too, with that insignia on it and the way it looks a little faded and worn. Like, you know, it's it's seen some action and had to last a while. Yeah, I mean, all in all, and actually, you know what? I dig his Return of the Jedi feeling blaster, too. Doesn't that feel like something from Return of the Jedi? Yeah, it kind of looks like one of Jabba's skiff guards or something. Yeah. It looks like they gave a little bit of weathering there, too. Like, it's got a little bit of a metallic wash over it. Yeah, it's it, it feels like it has a depth to it. A little metallic feel. Which, again, I'm going to say the same thing I said about Han. I wish they'd done that with his skin. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they do a lot of weathering on the skin here. They let the, the plastic be the color of the skin in this line, and that's about it. I know. For so, I don't know why. I think it's because I'm looking at some of the best detailed outfits Hasbro has ever done on these figures that I'm like, wow, that skin looks really mannequin-y. I think they might have scared themselves off when they tried it with that original Ray release where she had just way too red of cheeks. There was a lot wrong with that original Ray release. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, you know what? This ends up being a really cool figure for something I didn't think I would care about. You know, on paper, looking down the line, it's like, oh, there's a Kanan coming out. But as a figure, it works really well. Plus, now you have the absolute perfect head for your hipster custom of whatever you want with the man ponytail (laughs) and the goatee. (laughs) Looks like a young Eddie Vedder here. No, not at all. Come on. No. There's one thing I know. It's Eddie Vedder. Maybe Stone Gossard. Is that who I'm thinking of? It's more Stone Gossard. Stone has a really big nose. And Stone always wore his um, hair in a ponytail. I think that's who you're thinking of. It's Stone Gossard. One of those dudes in Pearl Jam. Yeah, I don't see Eddie Vedder in him either, but I'm not quite sure who I see. I'm now starting to fixate on that goatee and think of a singer, but I don't know quite who. But I don't want that to sound like a negative review of this figure. I, I'm so jazzed that they are bringing in the Rebel series and expanding this Black Series line. I started this series of reviews saying you're going to get a depth you will never get in a different line, and this proves it. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Star Wars Action News with more collecting news and reviews at SWActionNews.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May the pegs be stocked and the Force be with you.